Therefore the redeemed of the Lord shall return, and come a singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. Therefore the redeemed of the Lord shall return, and come a singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. Therefore the redeemed of the Lord shall return, and come a singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. Yes, and we speak that beautiful, positive statement that the joy shall be upon our heads, in our minds. And the best way to get that joy in our minds is right here. Well, do you believe that we are down to the last page? Woo! Congratulations to all of you. Congratulations. Whether you came once or you came every single day, I love you so, and the Lord is looking down favorably on you to put his word in your life daily. So on this December 31, woo, 31, we will look toward the brand new year with expectancy and hope and uh, just a fervor in our heart to get the word of God out to every single person. And then he will come, won't he? So we will be finishing up here, Malachi, Malachi, we would say Malachi, but Scott has taught us the Hebrew translation. Malachi 31, Malachi means angel, messenger. Behold, I send my messenger, it says here in the third chapter, and he will prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight. Behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. And I believe that's a great <clears throat> part <clears throat> of today's message that we need to be saying, he's coming. But who can endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? I mean, but who could, I can almost hear the Messiah playing in my head. And who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire. <laughs> and like launderer soap. Yeah, launderer soap. Launderer soap gets the spot out, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a strong soap. He will sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver. He will purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver that they may offer to the Lord an offering in righteousness. And that's the reason. And then the offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasant to the Lord as in the days of old, as in former years, and I will come near you for judgment. I will be a swift witness against sorcerers, against adulterers, against perjurers, against those who exploit wage earners and widows and orphans, and against those who turn away an alien because they did not fear me says the Lord of hosts, for I am, here we're back, I'm so happy on this last day that we're reading I am, I am that I am. Scott says I, it really means I will be who I will be, for I am the Lord, I do not change. Therefore you are not consumed, O sons of Jacob, yet from the days of your fathers you've gone away from my ordinances, 
<clears throat> and have not kept them. Return to me, and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. But you said, in what way shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say, in what way have we robbed you? In tithes and offerings. Does that ring a bell? When have you gone away or whatever and you just forgot to make up for the tithe when you weren't there? Think it over. This is the last day of the year. Let's make everything right we can today. Everything. Let's repent and then rejoice. You are cursed with a curse. For you have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. And try me now in this, says the Lord of hosts. Try, and here's what he says he will do. I, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes. We won't have to struggle. He will do it. If we obey and follow him, he will go before us and do it all. Ah, thank you, Melissa, putting those beautiful graphics of Kathy's on. Please, please go and enjoy them. They are so wonderful. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sake so that he will not destroy the fruit of your ground nor the vine fail to bear fruit for you in the field, says the Lord of hosts. And all nations will call you blessed for you will be a delightful land, says the Lord of hosts. Your words have been harsh against me says the Lord. Yet you say, what have we spoken against you? You have said, it is useless to serve God. What profit is it that we have kept his ordinance and that we have walked as mourners before the Lord of Lords, the Lord of hosts? So now we call the proud blessed. For those who do wickedness, are raised up. They even tempt God and go free. Uh, there, there'll be coming a day when they find out it wasn't free, right? Then those who feared the Lord spoke to one another, and the Lord listened and heard them. So a book of remembrance was written before him for those who fear the Lord and who meditate on his name. Isn't that beautiful? They shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts. On the day that I make them my jewels, I will spare them as a man spares his own son who serves him. And then you shall again discern between the righteous and the wicked, between one who serves God and one who does not serve him. For behold, the day is coming burning like an oven, and all the proud, yes, all who do wickedly will be stubble. The first time was by water. Noah saved mankind. The next time is by fire. Woo! Says the Lord of hosts. That will leave them neither root nor branch. But to you who fear my name, <clears throat> the sun of righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings. Healing. 
and you shall go out and grow fat like stall-fed calves. You shall trample the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. On the day that I do this, says the Lord of hosts, remember the law of Moses, Moshe, my servant, which I commanded him in Horeb for all Israel with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to their fathers. Oh, what a day that will be. That will be something. And he says, lest I come and strike the earth with a curse. And that, my dear brothers and sisters, is the last word of the Old Testament, the Old Covenant. And we will move along and finish up reading the Revelation of Jesus Christ, chapter 22. 22. Oh, so beautiful. Don't miss this. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb in the middle of its street. And on either side of the river was the tree of life, which bore 12 fruits each tree yielding its fruit every month, every month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations, and there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. They shall see his face and his name shall be on their foreheads. Wow. On their foreheads. There shall be no night there. They need no lamp, nor light of the sun, for the Lord God gives them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And then he said to me, these words are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show his servants the things which must shortly take place. Behold, I am coming quickly. Blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. Now I, John, saw and heard these things. And when I heard and I saw, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel who showed me these things. And then he said to me, see that you do not do that, for I am your fellow servant and of your brethren, the prophets, and of those who keep the words of this book. And here are two, these two words are the most important of all. Worship God. Not a God you make up that pleases you, but know this Bible. Know his word and worship him. And he said to me, do not seal up the words of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He who is unjust let him be unjust still. He who is filthy, let him be filthy still. He who is righteous, let him be righteous still. He who is holy, let him be holy still. In other words, there's coming a time when that's it. And whatever shape you are in, 
that's it. And behold, I am coming quickly. Now let's remember that. So we're ready every minute. And my reward is with me to give to everyone according to his work. <clears throat> I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are those who do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city. But outside are dogs and sorcerers. We're not talking about four-footed ones. People, dogs, and sorcerers, and sexually immoral, and murderers, and idolaters, and whoever loves and practices a lie. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright and morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, come and let him who hears say, Come, and let him who thirsts come. Whoever desires, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify to everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book. And pay attention to this. If anyone adds to these things, God will add to him the plagues that are written in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part from the book of life, from the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. He who testifies to these things says, Surely, I am coming quickly. Amen. Amen. So be it. Even so, come, Lord Jesus, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. And that, my dear friends, finishes up the New Testament. We made it. We move along to the last psalm. And when I finish this, we will, we will be able to say we read the Psalms and the Proverbs twice. Psalm 150, all joy. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the lute and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and the dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and flutes. Praise him with loud cymbals. Praise him with clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And that's you and me. Fortunately, his breath is still in us at this moment. We finish up. Mishle. The book of Proverbs, chapter 31, verses 25 through 31. <clears throat> and we are giving <clears throat> instruction and honor to the ladies. Strength and honor are her clothing. She shall rejoice in time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom. And on her tongue 
is the law of kindness. She watches over the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many daughters have done well, but you excel them all. Charm is deceitful and beauty is passing. But a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her in the gates. In the gates. And that, my dear precious friends, that finishes up. Tomorrow we'll start all over again. Come back. Say to yourself, now this is the year I'm going to do it. And, and this is such an easy way, you know. I mean, you're right in your own home or, or wherever you are. Uh, you might be still even just sitting in bed, haven't gotten up yet. And there's other people, and we get to pray for them, and they greet us. There's faithful ones here that come. They've been coming for, for years now. It's, it's, it's so amazing. It's just amazing to me. It's amazing to me you'd want to hear me. But we get to read the, the whole Word of God, all of it, all of it. And I, I hope that this year, too, I, I will have more explanation of names and different things just to add to it. But basically, we want to keep it simple. The Lord told me, keep it simple, just read it. I'm trusting the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, to move amongst you, to minister to you personally. You can invite him. And on this last day of the year, if you have not yet, invited Jesus Christ to come into your heart. If you have not bowed yourself, your soul, your mind, your body, I mean, even if you can, get on your knees and repent. Repentance is good. Don't fear that word. Just tell him the things that have troubled you that you feel you failed in or you're, you're working hard on. Hand them over to him. Give them to him and then ask him to wash you clean with his blood, his fresh blood. Wash you clean. He will, he will do the washing that you cannot do. I could not do. I was just stuck in a bunch of sins. And I look back now and I'm amazed at what he's done. He, I'm starting to think of things he's done that I did. I didn't even know. I, 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 it went right by me. He is your best friend. He did come and die to save you from going to hell, those hell fires we read about, that you might be assured to go to heaven with all the saints, be with the Lord forever and ever. Please, say this prayer. Father God, Say it with me, Father God, I come to you today and I bow my soul to you and I give you, Lord, everything that troubles me. I give you all my sins, the ones I know, the ones I don't even know. I give it all to you, Lord, and I'd ask you to wash me clean and pure with your blood that is fresh every day, every minute. Please, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me. Do in me what I don't seem to be able to do. Please, Lord, be my Lord. Be my Savior. Be in charge of my life. I know you have a good plan for me. And I want to thank you for hearing my voice and my prayer.
Amen. Now, if you prayed that on this last day of the year, is a first day for you. You just got born again. You couldn't do that. He did. I encourage you, get a Bible. If you don't have one, go get one. Go shop today. Go get one. Or look around. You probably have one on a shelf. Or ask a friend. And then the first thing I want you to do is, in the flyleaf of the Bible, put today, put, put now, Put the time wherever it is that you're watching. Put the date and say, I prayed. I prayed repentance and I accepted Jesus. I'm now born again. And then don't ever let the devil talk you out of it. Yeah, that was just a bunch of words. No. No, that was the most important word you ever said in your life. And now he is in you. He's there. He's come. You invited him. And he will be with you. And he will guide you. And he will bring answers that you've wondered where they were. He will bring them. And many of them will be much better than you thought. So I rejoice. Please put it down there. If you, if you pray that prayer, confess that. Because if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, and you need to, Say that. That's not a secret. Share that. When you say that, that and you share that, ah, it's just like the reality just really comes in. And you will feel burdens leave and joy unspeakable and full of glory come and fill you. I love you dearly. So do these brothers and sisters. So we bless you today, bless each and every one. Yeah, Yolinda reminds us, read it out loud, it feels so good. Let your voice, let your ears, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by this word. So let your ears hear your voice. You'd be surprised what a difference, how things will leap off the page at you. I love you all so very, very much. Happy New Year to you. And Lord willing, see you on the first day of this next year. Amen and amen. Bye-bye.